people say I need more hobbies. Fighting about it. Thinking about it. Talking about it. That's real, right there. Oh my god, I'm literally following in your footsteps right now. <laughs> it's so cool. I can't imagine living on the fringes like this. I think I'll stick to the comforts of New Atlantis. Things can always get worse if you hurt yourself, Dad. Please, just let me and the farm hands handle things. All right, all right. Well, you don't need to worry about me so much, child. We're wagoners. We're tough as nails. Look at me. I'm fit as a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, Dad. Wagoner or not, just don't overdo things until we can afford your treatment. Well, the new fertilizer is doing wonders. The crops are really coming in this year. And you're doing a fine job running this place. I feel we'll be flush with cash at the end of this harvest. I'm, I'm so proud of you, Michaela. <laughs> You've always been an optimist. Thanks, Dad. If I catch you working with that shovel again, I'm not going to be pleased. <laughs> all right, all right. We've had an excellent crop this year. Makes me proud. I don't mean to seem rude, but this ain't exactly the best time for visitors. If you're looking to buy the farm, it ain't for sale. If you're looking to sell something, I can't afford it. Now, if you don't mind, I got some problems I need to deal with. No? Well, thank goodness for small favors, then. Seems like not a week goes by that someone isn't out here trying to talk me into something I don't want to do. You're welcome to have a look around. 
Just try not to get in anyone's way. Since I was old enough to pick up a bucket, yeah. This farm's been in my family for generations. In fact, there have been wagoners living on this farm almost as long as humans have been in the Cheyenne system. As far as I know, it's just me and my dad. This is the one and only Wagner family farm. The only other Wagners on Montero Luna are buried in our family cemetery nearby. Like I said, this farm's been in our family for generations. It's home, and it'll continue to be home as long as there's a Wagner still breathing. Mainly grains and root vegetables. We rotate through a few different kinds. It's good for the soil. Also got some livestock and other animals, mainly to keep us fed. But we sell the extra meat and eggs when we've got them. Not much different from the other farms on Montero Luna, really. Have a good one. Well, I'd help out in the fields myself if I thought my heart could take it. Yes, I did. I was born in this house, and I plan on dying in it. The farm hasn't changed a bit since I was a kid. That's the Free Star Collective for you. Kale is my little girl, my pride and joy. I raised her right here in Montero Luna, where she was born. Makes me mighty happy to watch her work in the fields. She has her mama's knack for planting, rest her soul. I was. Me and every other wagoner for generations. <laughs> the saying goes that the wagoners have deep enough roots on Montero Luna to put our crops to shame. She passed on years ago. If my damn ticker has anything to say about it, I'll be joining her in the next life soon enough. Michaela runs the place. I haven't been much use around the farm since my heart started getting bad. I don't know what I'd do without her. I'm too sick to work the fields anymore, and the damn farmhands couldn't run this place if their lives depended on it. Best be on your way. I can't believe you just stole that. If you're overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying.
rise and shine. We've got things to do. Hi there. Okay. Hello. Howdy. This is Michaela's farm. Talk to her. Growing and raising everything needed to survive? Believe it or not, I'm almost envious of their way of life. When you have the time. Yeah, what is it? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? If we're going to unlock the secrets of these artifacts, we're going to need more than simple empirical data. We'll need to dig deeper. It would be helpful if you'd just tell me how holding the artifact made you feel. Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Some people would consider what you went through a deeply personal experience. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I enjoy hearing about them. <laughs> Professionally, of course. Either way, um, we need all the help we can get. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Ah, oh, that's an excellent question. You should think after years of gathering data about the artifacts, I'd have the perfect answer to that. But I haven't the faintest idea. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. No, that's not it at all. Solving a mystery like this, it's an explorer's dream. 
Believe me, they're all as driven as I am to find an answer. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Anything interesting in range? Got something for me? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. So long. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk?
What can I help you with? Have something for me? Maybe another time. Family's been tending this land. Safe travels. Greetings, Captain. Bye-bye. Something you need? 
Bye. How can I be of service, Captain? Time to get this ship moving. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And who do you think will play me? How do you think this adventure is going? Great? Fantastic? A moment in time will treasure forever? I'm thinking all three. Yes! How close should I follow you? Two meters behind? One meter? Less than one meter? I just want to make sure you've got enough space, emotionally. Oh, wow. If you insist, I'll try not to faint. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. Yeah? Yes? Time to go? This is so cool! Off we go! To another adventure! I'm in the mood for a mocha macchiato. How about you? For you, there's no burden I won't carry. Yes, my liege. Whatever you want to know. Oh, I'm not that interesting. <laughs> I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. 
The first chapter in a 437 book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1001, 1002. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Oh, no. That sounds... Ominous. Oh, I can definitely do that. On a scale of one to ten, I'm going to be eleven times infinity. Just you wait and see. If your I am the moth to your flame, the magnet to your fridge, the lint in your pocket! <laughs> yes, take all my things, no strings attached. That's close enough. Better think twice before starting trouble. What exactly do you want here? We're mercenaries. We get paid to solve problems no one else wants to take up. Much like yourself, I imagine. Yeah. And what do you have to say about it? We're getting paid to deliver it back to the trifle owner, and I don't think that's you. I swear, it's... it's like I said, that's Jane's ship. I... 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 I was there when she bought it! Hey, shut up and let the adults talk. Now, where were we before this interruption? That's possible. But even if what you say is true, it's not my problem. We've got to reclaim it for its owner. Sucks for your friend, but we got our orders. So, unless you've got something else to propose, we'll be taking the ship in. Our employer will handle the pilot.
That's it! Eyes this jackass! Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. Of course, O oh kind and benevolent hero. I will accept all that you have. Back to work, then. Thanks. I... I thought that was gonna be it for me. I can't believe you just killed him. That was crazy. They said they've been looking for this ship for months, ever since it was reported stolen. I don't know who it belonged to, but they clearly wanted it back bad enough to call Mercs, not Sistef. Must have had some way of tracking it. Followed me from Mars until we were nowhere near Sistef, I guess? Or just my own bad luck. Yeah, good call. I guess I'll clean up this mess before I take the ship back. Ugh. See you at Jane's. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. 20 years ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. Never thought I'd stay for as long as I have. All right. Glad you're back. Everything okay? Hope everything went well. So what happened? Who took it? Whoa, ecliptic? They're like hardcore mercenaries, right? Yikes. I guess I should consider myself lucky. Lesson learned. Next time, I'll buy from a reputable source. Anyway, I'm super glad you found my ship and saved Eric. It's more than I could have hoped. I'm glad I asked you instead of relying on Sistef. I never would have seen the Berry Mule again if I did that. Oh, I mean, I knew the deal I got on it was too good to be true, instincts be damned. I probably should have thought about it more, but I had to jump on the offer because my business means everything to me. Yes, I know better now. Well, first of all, I'm going to count myself lucky. Then, I'm going to continue building this business. Now that I've got a functioning cargo ship and a pilot, I can really start to bring in some good merchandise. You've done me a real solid here. There's really nothing I can do to fully repay you for what you did. Here's what I can afford to pay you. And on top of that, I'll see what I can do to lower the price of anything you want to buy from me. Thanks again.
planet, so we must be in the right place.